I wish to know who was responsible for last night's outrage. Huawei Show. Huawei Show. There's something that you spoke about, the honeymoon stage, man. Or oh, you said, after honeymoon stage, it's all about logistics. logistics. <laughs> so if if the honeymoon phase, yeah, I can literally not even say how much petrol is. When you say go, guy, if I offer to come fetch you, this is she's flying from Durban to come to cooking with Grace. Yeah. So you pay for it. I pay for your honeymoon it. stage. That's your honeymoon phase. Okay. You don't care how much it costs. Morning, I'm Johan. Welcome to the Salvation Army. I'm, I'm, I'm with I'm with Major Mel Mel Vislati. Yeah. And when I checked the contact, it said Mel Vera. Yeah, Mel Vera. Also, Mel Vera is fine. Yeah. But full name Mel Vislati. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, ladies and gents, the reason why we are here is to donate some clothes via the Wild Show Media House Foundation. And we and just some other stuff in the future. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yes, yes, that's what we also want to add. And yeah, I, I just want to get details from the major so anybody else who wants to do the same thing can donate. Yes. So before we get into that major, I just need to know out of everything that you could have done with your life, you could have been a kung fu star, you could have been a a, a model, you could have been a athlete. Why did you choose to help people? Yeah, actually, um, I'm a civil engineer by profession. Civil engineer? Yeah, okay. I came here to South Africa to work in a diamond firm to okay. um, uh, train the COSA people. But, uh, you know, as the days run by, mm. uh, the Lord just uh, have that uh, encounter mm. for me to have to do, do full-time ministry. Mm. So I have to leave everything you know, to the luxurious life and just follow the Lord. So you woke up one morning and you're like, I'm going to leave this engineering. Let me go help people. Not really one morning. Mm. You know, um, I was in free state when I encountered the Meet the Salvation Army. Okay. And uh, the officer day uh, started a Bible study in our house. Mm. And then I started uh, attending the Salvation Army Church, helping the Sunday school mm. and uh, get involved in the church. And mm. That's where the Lord started talking to me. Yes. And and, and how, how has it been for you? Um do you have do you have your own kids? No, I'm still single. You're still single. The I major may, still yeah. single. You're single major. I'm also single, you know. Yeah, but I married to my I married to my calling. Ah, okay, okay, major. Cause, cause, so it's cause, the you best know, thing I did in my life. I know I know it's it's very straining to, to, to help. You get frustrated, you get tired, you know? So so how do you deal with the pressures of always helping people? I think, you know, the Lord give you a passion and uh, though your body is tired, but you just mm. keep going. It's only the Lord. I cannot explain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. And, it, and, leaving, and, leaving, and leaving home, or originally, where are you from? Philippines. From Philippines. Yeah. So leaving home, leaving your family, coming this side, um, that, that, that didn't it put you up inside, that you left your life that side to start a new life this side. Uh, um, before I came to the ministry, it's mm. very uh, homesick, but uh, you know, you're busy 
Doreen wieder läuft. Ach, ich bin so. It's the best thing yeah. happening in your life. Don't so, so what, 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 what are the best times? What are the best moments that you've heard, had since you've been here? In the ministry. Yes. I think it was when I was in uh, Cape Town, okay. uh, running the school, mm-hmm. running to church, mm-hmm. and running uh, a community. Are you also a teacher, or do you teach the Lord's Word? So in Cape Town, like what, what, what happened? Like, uh, did was, you did you come across very smart students? What what happened? Um, I was uh, sent there to run the preschool mm-hmm. and, uh, with 120 kids. And you were running 120 kids alone. No, I have about like six, eight. Uh, Ooh, I get tired only from one kid. No, I, you, I have like in the school have like six, eight edge uh, okay. ECD right. uh, teacher. Mm. Yeah. And then I ran two churches mm. and then uh, out there. All and, right. And you know, it's a gangster, they call it a gangster, Bonte uh, Hill. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, I know that place. <laughs> yes, but that's the best, I think, appointment I had because mm. it's tough. Mm. But you just see the hands of God, you see the grace of God, you see. And everything you cannot else. explain. Right. So, and, and that's my longest appointment. Mm-hmm. That's a difficult appointment, but this is the biggest rewarding appointment. Yes, seeing all the kids grow. Yes, yeah. yo, you can <laughs> you you cannot explain. It's yeah. only God. So, so for people that would like to donate, um, how do they donate? Is there a certain form that they need to sign? Do they call someone? Do they come here direct? How how do they? contact you guys to talk it. Yeah, you know that this uh, center has been here for quite how many years now mm. and it's not funded by the government so mm. it's run by the public like you. Mm. You come and donate, uh, you come and do something, mm. uh, you know, so that's how the, this center um, run. It's a center for the homeless people mm. and uh, they can call me uh, 072 662 mm. or they can just come and, uh, and donate. donate. And we have a, a shop mm. uh, at the back there that okay. supplement the, the running. So, so for, for, for homeless people or for, for children without, without parents that have nowhere to go, is there a certain requirement for them to come and live here or they come in and you, take, you just take them in? Yeah, there is a, a form. Uh, the, the, they can come for interview and we ask them a small contribution mm. just for them that uh, you know when everything is free you take it for granted mm. so we ask like you we ask like uh, 1085 a month okay yeah or you can ask for sponsor to be here okay to help you parade or to just give back to yourself mm. give back to your feet mm. and for those who are uh, getting sasa we charge them like what four to six okay in order for this place to run to run yeah. yes because it's not funded by the government yeah. so yeah. so this year this year what what um programs do you have for the salvation i mean anything that we can know about that we can join and shoot so people can see yeah this year because uh, from last year all the things that i have seen mm. um most of the people if not all that come in through the gate they come in with their luggage mm. issue in life or family or ended up on the street mm. so i try to network i already uh, connected with a few churches and mm. the people in the community mm. and uh, i'm thinking to uh, connect to the uh, agency that have, uh, can give us like skill, you know, like okay. counseling, mm. that we can just speak to the doctor. Mm. Because mm. you see, I'm alone mm. and I have to run this place, especially when there is no money, you mm. know, and then I have a church in the other side of town to okay. run also. So, so you're doing a lot of things. You can say yes, uh, but uh, you know, uh, more people make life easier. Yeah. All right, Major, thank you very much for talking to us. And yes, all the best for this year. And all the best you with so you much. and everything that you are doing. And thank you for inviting us to talk to you like this on your busy schedule. You know? But maybe it's my handsome face <laughs> that allowed everything. Yeah, you know that the Salvation Army is the international organization okay. uh, run by, um, by people, actually. Mm. It's belong to the people. And, uh, it's operated in 100 countries. So 
this wherever is. you go there is Salvation Army. Mm. And it's not like only a center like this one. We have hospital, we have rehabilitation, uh, rehabilitation center yeah. for drugs, mm. and we have a school, we have clinic, we have uh, churches, and we have, we call ourselves, we are everything. Mm. Mm. That is basically everything. Yeah. Okay, Major, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Yeah. And thank you so much, Nick. I hope that it's not only the first time we see each other. I hear from Mama Princess <laughs> that uh, you donated the things for everywhere. And yeah, she day. donates. She donates for churches. Mm. So at least now she knows that she can contact you and yeah, come in and, and we donate. we can work together in the mm. community. Mm. It's not only with the two, four walls, but the outside. outside. Mm. All right, Major. When especially when you come like half past four, you can see people out there. Mm. Yeah, where we can help, we'll definitely. Try to give me a hand.